Hello guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate a front-end template in your HTML project. All right, let's start. Okay guys, before we upload this website, I would like to add a little more code in order to be more compatible across different browser and devices. Okay, and how we can do that? Let me show you one example. Here, if I go to the browsers, I have here the website and I display the website in Chrome, Safari, and Firefox, okay? And if you notice here on the paragraph, okay, in Firefox, the paragraph is a little longer than in Safari and Chrome. What, why that happened? Because every single browser can render on different ways the um, HTML, okay? In that case, if you see the paragraph in Chrome is going to be different in Firefox, okay? And how we can create a standard that will render on the same way across different browsers. Let me show you the idea first. If I go back to Dreamweaver, I can go to my CSS, okay? And here I am going to put, for example, the paragraph, okay? I'm gonna put here P and then open and color curly brackets, okay? And then I can put here the font size, all right? And then I can put whatever number that I want. For example, let's say if I put here, for example, 14 point, okay? What's gonna happen now, my paragraph is 14 point, I'm gonna save, okay? And then if I go to the browsers, I am going to refresh here Safari, Firefox, and I'm gonna refresh Chrome, okay? And if you notice now, it's the same, okay? Can you see, that is the idea, but if you don't put that as a part of your code, what's gonna happen, every single browser will render, okay, on different ways, okay? What we can do, we can start adding different um, classes, okay, or we can standardize this, but there is another way that we can do this, okay? I'm gonna delete this, I'm gonna save it, okay? And one of the things that I do, I download a boilerplate or a HTML template, okay, that I use on every single projects that I create, okay? And with this, if you go to the website HTML5 boilerplate, you can download this template, okay? And here inside you can see the docs and there is the explanation of every single element that you have on the template. But let me show you the template. I'm gonna go to my desktop, I already download, okay? And in this folder, Look at this, all this element comes on this package that is good. I include all this element on my project, okay? For example, here I am going to open the index. I'm gonna drag and drop to Dreamweaver. And look at what we have here inside. This is the head, okay? That is the, all the information of the head, okay? And then we have the body, all right? Okay, on the head, there is a few things that are very important that you have to include in your website. One of those things is this one, okay? The width device, the initial scale one. Why? Because in order to be compatible with multiple smartphones, okay? If you upload your website, probably you will see the website gonna look like a tiny version of the desktop, um, the desktop website. But if you put this, you will display on the correct way the device, okay? That is very important that I have to add. And I am going to copy this, okay? I can copy. And then I can go to my HTML, all right? And here as a part of the code, okay? I'm going to put here, enter, and I'm going to paste, okay? That is very important. And another thing that for me is important is to include the normalize, okay? What is the normalize CSS? If I go here to the normalize CSS, you can see they create this template, okay, and this CSS trying to 
create the same standard and align all the different browser okay for example one of thing that they do they put the margin zero if you remember i have on my html that margin and they put for example the main display block the h1 all the h1 will render on the same size you can see that is the idea okay and instead to copy the code what i can do what i can i can bring the css the entire file okay let me explain if i go if i open this folder okay here i have this css and i'm gonna select the normalize okay on this package then right click and copy the normalize okay and then go to the ski web go to your css and then here you can right click and you can paste if you see, it's inside the CSS folder and the name is normalize CSS. Then if you go back to your project, okay, go to the source code, go to the HTML, and I am going to place that, okay, here above, okay, the, the other CSS, okay? And I'm gonna show you why. First type link and then press tab key, okay? Then press the key C as in CSS and automatically will recognize this is on the CSS folder, and then click on the normalize, okay? What's gonna happen here, this code, okay, this code of CSS will apply to the entire website, but whatever code that you will create or that you create already will override the normalize because it's on the second position, okay? It's after, it's beneath the normalize. This one will override this one, okay? And then I can render, okay, I can, refresh all this window and you can see it's the same across all the browser okay all the code all the different things that you will see here are the same in safari chrome and firefox okay that is the first idea all right let's continue and now if i go back to the hmi file boilerplate i am going to copy this one the description and this is good, for example, if you want to describe what is your website about, okay? And that is good for search engine optimization. And then I'm gonna paste there, and here, for example, you can put a website about ski, okay? And also, it's good if you put your title, okay? And that is the title for the browser window. If I go, for example, Safari, you can see the it's untitled document. And in order to see the name of the website, it's that untitled document. You can put, for example, a ski web here. And then I'm gonna go back, okay, and beside the description, I would like to put another thing here is the icon. Look at this. This is the icon that you will see also in Safari, okay? For example, if I go here to Safari, if I create a new browser window, can you see all these icons that you have here? In order to see that icon, you have to create that icon. You have to place the code on the head, okay? I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna go back to my title and right beneath this here, I'm gonna paste there, okay? And you see you have the icon there, but you need the real icon. In that case, I'm going to the folder, okay? I'm going to the HTML5 boilerplate package, and this one is the icon. The only thing that you have to do is open this in Photoshop and you can put your own logo or something like that. In addition, I'm going to copy the fav icon. What is this one? For example, I'm going here to Chrome. Okay, you can see this little icon, or for example, if you create a new tab, you will see the icon is there. That is the fav icon that you need, okay? I am going to copy these two elements, okay? And then I am going back to my website and I'm gonna paste the two items here, okay? And in order to place the fav icon, what you have to do, you have to create a new line of code. And I'm going to type link here, press the key tab. But the attribute, instead to be the um, relation to the style sheet, okay, what you have to relate is going to be a icon. Okay, I'm gonna type here icon, okay, and then, it's, it's good if you put the what type of icon. I'm going to put tie there, okay? And what you have to do, the standard is to put a image. It's going to be that, then a slash, and then X hyphen icon. All right, okay? That is the standard to put because the browser will recognize automatically that the icon. And the reference here, what you have to type is the name fav icon, okay, ICO. 
you can place a JPEG, a PNG, okay? Remember, with PNG, you can have transparency, but it's much better to the ICO because it's the uh, HTML standard, okay? If you go, for example, to Safari or any browser, you can search, okay, in Google File Icon Converter, okay? And there are many different websites that you can go there. And the only thing that you have to do is upload your icon and then you can create and then download the file icon. Can you see? That is the idea. All right, let's continue reviewing what they have there. This is very interesting, okay? This code is good for people that use a older version of Internet Explorer. This is a comment, okay? But look at what happened. Let me explain. First, I'm gonna type here, for example, um, this is my website, okay? And what happened here, if you see, you can see there, this is my website, okay? But I can select this, okay? And I can convert here in Dreamweaver on a comment, okay? When you add these symbols, you will convert all this line in a comment and you don't see here on the browser, okay? But what happened, all the version of Internet Explorer uh, doesn't recognize comments, okay? In that case, what's gonna happen is that to see these, what you will see is something like this. Can you see it's inviting you to upgrade your Internet Explorer. In that case, this is good. I'm gonna select this, copy, and then go back to your code and right beneath the, the body tag, when the body start, I'm gonna paste that, okay? All right, let's go back here. And then here is saying, add your site application content here. You don't have to do that. Okay, but I am going to copy all the script, okay? Mortenizer is a JavaScript library and that library will detect, okay, all the features that you have on the HTML for a specific browser and will adapt the browser if the browser doesn't support those features, okay? I am going to copy all this, copy, and then I am going back, but I recommend you to put here all the way down, okay, before the body finish. This is loading in this moment. Okay, over time you will see the, the, the website. But in addition, one of the other things that you have to do, you have to go here and you have to copy the JavaScript folder, okay? And here you have all the essential JavaScript, like at the more than I said, the jQuery and all the things, okay? I am going to copy this folder, Okay, copy this JavaScript. I'm gonna go to my website and then I am going to paste that folder. Okay, and now you have a, everything is going to be okay. All right, you have the JavaScript. I'm gonna go back and this is another code that is very important as well, okay? This is for Google Analytics, okay? If you go to Google Analytics, okay, uh, um, you can create an account and then they're gonna give you this number, okay? And this is number that you can replace Okay, and then you can track, okay, how many people is going to visit your website and all those stuff, okay? In that case, I'm gonna copy and then I recommend you to go and create an account in Google Analytics, okay? Just copy that and then go back here, okay? And all the way down after the script, I'm gonna paste, okay? And I'm gonna keep that comment to remember that is part of the Google Analytics. You see, now you have a lot of different elements from the HTML boilerplate, okay? But in addition, I would like to copy a few documents, okay? For example, look at this here. I have this 404. This is the typical page when you visit a website and you type uh, wrong the URL. Let me explain. For example, if I go to Chrome, okay? If I search, search for 404 page uh, design, for example, okay? Let me stretch this. I'm gonna go to images and look at this. This is a typical 404 page when you visit a website and the, the URL is not correct, okay? What you can do, you can design this page, okay? And you can put there, okay? I'm gonna copy this page also, okay? And then here I am going to paste, okay? Okay, what else we have on this folder? This browser config is to customize the tiles that you have in window eight. For example, let me show you if I go here, window A tiles, you can see all this one, you have those tiles that are, are small tiles and the white tiles, okay? And what the only thing that you have to do, I'm gonna here, uh, can you see is the tile PNG is there and you have this tile and this one, just select all these element, copy, and then go to your um, 
folder and then you can paste and of course you have to customize that in Photoshop, for example. Okay, then we already copied the CSS. This is just the documentation um, to read about the CSS and the JavaScript and so on. Okay, we already copied the file icon. Okay, and this is the humans. Okay, the humans is information that you can put the team that is involved in this project as well. That is good for information. Okay, we have the icon. We don't need the IMG folder because we already have the images folder. The index is, we already reviewed that. We already copied the JavaScript. The license that you have to use the HTML5 boilerplate, okay? And then we have the robot, okay? What about the robot? Um, Google can crowd in your website and index all the information. And here you can indicate your sitemap and all the information that you want to index on the Google robot, okay? And finally, here we have the site manifest. This document, if I open with text edit, this document allow how you can control how your site gonna appear in screen on devices. Okay, something that you don't need in this case. All right, can you see all that is the information that you can include as a part of your website. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can upload this website. Okay, guys, I hope you like this video. See you on the next one. Bye.